You're watching Utah's number one news channel. This is 2 News at Noon. Time to check your health, and this is um, very unique. We have an inflated colon in our basement of the station here, and two doctors, gastroenterologists, Andrew and Chris, thank you so much for coming. Where do you guys work? What clinics? I work at Old Mill, Riverton, and Intermountain Medical Center. And I work at St. Mark's Hospital and LDS Hospital. Okay, what do you think of this? I mean, as a, an example of what you guys get to see when somebody has a colonoscopy. Uh, actually, interestingly, um, the fact that it's so clean is what we look for in a colonoscopy, <laughs> and the uh, lesions and diseases that they've put on the colon are all very informative and uh, ulcerative colitis right here. And, and that's what it really looks like. And that's kind of what it looks like. Okay. A lot of redness and yeah. a lot of inflammation and it hurts. Okay. And Crohn's disease is diagnosed with uh, colonoscopies? It is diagnosed with colonoscopy labs and some imaging studies. Okay. And what about diverticulitis? That sounds fun. So diverticulitis is something we see on colonoscopy a lot, but it, not usually diagnosed that way. But this is what it looks like on the inside when we do see it. Usually, usually that's people with lots of pain and, and imaging in an exam will, will diagnose this. And, but we see the, the pockets themselves of diverticuli a lot okay. on, on colonoscopy. All right, and then behind you, a polyp is sneaking up on you. Yes. It yeah. Is. And polyps, that, that is something that you, while you're in there looking to see if everything's okay, you can remove that and it could be precancerous, right? That's right. We always remove polyps. Polyps can be precancerous. Uh, it's very important to have a colonoscopy at age 50. Very easy thing to set up through our office. You can do it online. Um, polyps will become cancer. Uh, about 150,000 cases of uh, colon cancer every year and about 50,000 deaths from that. Uh, roughly a 1 in 20 chance in a lifetime of getting colon cancer. So and it's so important. preventable. It's so easily preventable with a prep and a colonoscopy. Okay, well we're standing in the middle of this colon here and this will be at our health expo. That is on the 21st, February 21st. The health expo is going to be down at, or the To Your Health Expo is down at the uh, Southtown Convention Center, the expo center. So you will have a chance to go through a colon and see. This is very impressive, guys, right?